watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome back in to BBN Tonight. Happy to be joined now by the voice of the Wildcats. Tom Leach is with us to talk football and basketball tonight. Tom, thank you so much for being here. Let's start with the basketball team because Oscar Shibwe made history again today. Named the National Player of the Year from the National Association of Basketball Coaches. Not only is he the first Kentucky basketball player to win that, Tom, he's the first player from the SEC. That's hard to believe. The coaches not voting for Anthony Davis in 2012 will always be a mystery. So that's two down, four to go for Oscar to be the consensus national player of the year. Tom, doesn't take away the pain of the NCAA tournament, but have to be happy for Oscar at least. Yeah, the, these awards he's going to get this week are so well-deserved. I mean, to, to put up the numbers that he did as a, as a rebounder, when you talk about going back into the 50s at Kentucky for comparison or, you know, doing something for the first time since Bill Walton on the – uh, average for points to rebounds 73 um, those are just numbers that demand to win all of these player of the year awards so I'm hopeful it'll be a clean sweep for it. I think it should be and then uh, even more hopeful that he'll get a chance to be the first one of the winners of these awards in a long time to come back for another year you know, I'm not sure the BBN is ready to talk about next year's basketball season, but if they are, they'll be able to watch two future cats tonight. UK signees Kaysen Wallace and Chris Livingston both playing in the McDonald's All-American game tonight at 9 o'clock on ESPN. Tom, what are you going to be looking for from these guys as they play? Oh, I, I never take a whole lot away from all-star <laughs> games like this, especially I think these two guys are going to bring just a a defensive mentality. Uh, Wallace, in particular, from what I understand, brings that. And I don't know. You'll see a lot of uh, defense in an All-Star game. <laughs> but uh, I think these are these two guys are the the kinds of players that you've seen on a lot of Cal's best teams here and other places. Just you know, tough, hard-nosed, def hard-nosed defenders that can also score. And so I'm just gonna look to see how they stack up against the rest. I think they also are both slated to play in the Jordan Brand game next mm -hmm. month as well. And um, these are two guys that should be pivotal parts of next season's team. All right, moving on to football. The Cats are deep into spring practice. Tom, what are you hearing about how things are going uh, for Kentucky so far? Yeah, and I think it's uh, all been very positive so far. Listening to a lot of the, the post-practice interviews, uh, you know, you hear, I heard J.J. Weaver just talking about the the presence, I guess, that uh, Will Levis had. Uh, Mark Stoops talked a lot about that last season when he made the, the decision on who was going to be his quarterback. But, you know, J.J. just talked about how, uh, you know, the, Will is the unquestioned leader. And uh, I think uh, there are very high expectations for him, probably starting with himself. He talked about uh, one of the things he wants to improve on is his decision making. So if he can't hit the deep throw, uh, if it's called, if it's called, if it's not there, just check it down to the running backs. Just listening to him talk sounded a, like an NFL mentality, and uh, that would I would think fit right in with the the new OC, Coach Gangarello. So uh, it seems like they're clicking. Um, Chris Rodriguez, um, uh, Coach Rich was uh, having a lot of good things to say about him, so he should be poised for a big year. Um, I'll be you know when we get to the blue white game, I'll be eager to see how some of those young guys look at tackle in the O-line and then defensively, you know, is somebody going to maybe take an opportunity to step to the forefront now that Vito Tisdale's out? Yeah. You touched on this. Will Levis is such a centerpiece for this team uh, for his play, of course, but also because of his position, his leadership is so valuable as well. And here was what J.J. Weaver had to say about him. It's all ears. All ears when Will speak. All, everybody stand up. Straight chest when he speaks. So, you know, he got that leadership most definitely on the team. He's a big dog right here. So, we, we all listen to him. He's a next coach too. So that's how we said. Tom, we know that Vince Merrill is the real big dog, but if the players also see Will Levis that way, certainly can't hurt. No, it can't. Um, Derek Ramsey's a good friend and one of the all time great leaders in any sports team that I've covered. And when Derek uh, would have some of his former teammates in town, and he'd come and do a radio show and bring some of his teammates with him. It was still clear 30, 40 years later who the leader was. 
uh, the quarterback, who the QB was. And that was always Derek, is Derek, when he was with his guys. And uh, maybe Will Levis will have that kind of uh, leadership quality for this team this season. Tom, about 30 seconds left, but Avery Williamson said something to me that was really interesting that, you know, the front on the defense and the linebackers, the way they play and the depth they have can certainly help a thin defensive back position. Oh, I think there's no question about that. I think Kentucky um, could be better uh, with the pass rush this year. A healthier, you know, fully healthy J.J. Weaver, uh, get Jordan Wright back uh, playing a whole season. Those are two guys you can do some creative things with in terms of attacking, attacking quarterbacks. And um, I think that could be a tremendous help to the secondary. Man, I am ready for that. Tom, <laughs> thank you so much. Enjoy it, guys. Have a good week. All right, coming up, we'll hear from the reigning U.S. Women's Amateur Champion. My conversation with Jensen Castle is next, only on BBN Tonight. We'll be right back.